before the before the penalty tower picked the ball up and I kind of Mark Noble walks towards me. He studied your Chaz, he knows exactly where you're going. I'm thinking. Alright. Fine, I trust you. I was gonna go keep us right. So just before I took it, I just see and just rolled it down the left, he dived to the right. I just turned around to him afterwards, like, cheers no. <laughs> 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 Honestly, uh, that yeah. was why he kind of he was playing mind games. I thought, oh, I'm going to trust him here. Why not? Mm. And he dived to the right, and I just rolled it down the left. He would have loved it if you put it to the right, though. Yeah, there you go. Um, I was at uh, West Brom one Brighton nil at the weekend. Yeah, Brighton missed two penalties. Pascal Gross. Let's, let's discuss them actually, because I'm fascinated by missed penalties in a game. Um, we all know the the impact of shootout missed penalties. We've had the stories of Gareth Southgate, Stuart Pearce, documented well over the years. Chris Waddle as well. Um, I'm fascinated by missed penalties during games. First of all, my premise is this. No professional footballer should miss a penalty. My wife backs you up there because Good. we were in the garden yesterday and I've got a goal in the garden. She just looked at me and went, Char, how do you lot miss? Like, look at the size of that. How do you lot miss? I'm thinking, well, there is a goalie in the way, you know. She's like, no, no, no. She's not having it. I do get it. I do, eh? But... Sometimes it's just you can't help it. Keep the dice the right way. But you're all of a level uh, where you can kick a ball properly. Technically, you're all you know good enough to hit the back of the net. And I appreciate there's a keeper in the way. The way I've, I've really analysed this with penalties over the years, you are guaranteed to score your penalty if you put it in either top corner. But lifting a penalty is dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, because the risk, the keeper's high. He can get, obviously he can get there. If he guesses right, he can get there. But you're risking hitting the bar, the post, blazing it over. Then all of a sudden he's going, why are you trying to take it, whack it out there? Why are you not hitting it on the deck? So it's, <laughs> if you score a penalty, it doesn't matter how it goes in. That's the best thing. If you miss, you miss. I think a lot of people do look into... The goalies definitely study penalty takers. Mm -hmm. And penalty takers study the goalies. When I was at Southampton at a penalty against Burnley, before the game, the Southampton analyst came up to me and went, I've got one for you on Tom Eaton. So I was like, go on. He said, if you get a penalty, he's going to dive to your right. I'm thinking, eh? Hey. He said, just trust me. When a right footer takes a penalty against Tom Eaton, he dives to the right. And when he takes a penalty to the left, he dives to the left. I fought back. This was after the, after the game. I fought back to when I took a penalty against him at Burnley for QPR. At Turf Moor, I smashed it into the bottom right. He dived to the bottom right, went in. I see a penalty that he saved for Dusan Tadic, left footer, dive to the left. I thought, well, I'm going to have to trust this guy. I ran up, rolled it down the left, he dived to the right. <laughs> that was it. I said to him after the game, I said, Tom, you're going to have to change where you're going, mate, because I know what's going on. He's like, what do you mean? I said, well, they told me, right footer, you dive to the right. <laughs> left, you dive to the left. Now I've told everyone, eat. sorry, mate. <laughs> but no, dude, that was, that was just, that is a way we study them as well. We study mm. goalkeepers as well. 